From the outset, the fellows of the Royal Society showed a tireless and, and indeed at times breathtaking curiosity about almost everything. Nothing, it seems, was beneath their attention. Members discussed and considered woodland management, blood transfusion, architectural load bearing, the behavior of gases, the development of the pocket watch, the thermal expansion of glass, and much, much else. Before most people had ever even seen or tasted a potato, the Royal Society debated the practicality of making it a staple crop in Ireland, ironically as a hedge against famine there. <laughs> Two years after the Society's formation, Christopher Merritt, a founder member whose expertise was actually in birds, demonstrated a method for fermenting wine twice over, endowing it with a pleasing effervescence. He had invented champagne. The next year, John Aubrey contributed a paper on the ancient stone monuments at Avebury in Wiltshire and so effectively created archaeology. John Locke contributed a paper on the poisonous fish of the Bahamas. Edmund Halley, the great astronomer, happened upon figures for annual births and deaths in Breslau in Silesia, which fascinated him because they were so unusually complete. Now, most people would have treated these figures as an interesting diversion, but Halley realized that from them, he could construct charts from which it was possible to work out the life expectancy of any person at any point in his existence. He could say that for someone aged 25, the chances of dying in the next year were 80 to 1 against, that someone who had reached the age of 30 could reasonably expect to live another 27 years, and that the chances of a man of 40 living another seven years were five and a half, five and a half to 1 in his favor, and so on. He had, in short, produced the world's first actuarial tables, and so made the life insurance industry possible. Again and again, the Royal Society demonstrated that it was an institution dedicated not just to understanding the world, but to changing it and improving it in any way it could, often in the most unexpected ways. 